Hey campers, I hope you guys are having fun so far. Since this week's theme is to infinity and beyond, we're going to be doing star stamping today. What you'll need for this is construction paper and star shaped cookie cutters. Now you can use any color construction paper, although dark colored is preferred. If you don't have access to cookie cutters or you want to challenge yourself and get more creative, you can cut out your own shapes like I did here. This is a piece of foam, but you can use cardboard or construction paper or get creative and use things like apples and other household items. I also created this where you can cut it out and it makes out of wire and you would hold it here and dip it in the paint and stamp it onto the paper. Now that you have all of your materials, let's get started. Just so you guys get a picture for reference, here's what mine ended up looking like. It is still in the process of drying, but just so you guys get an idea. And I added stickers as well, which you guys can go out and buy some stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So I have my shapes. I'm gonna start off using my big star. You just want to dip it in your paint. You can see you get it on there. And then you want to press it onto the paper and lift. And you can see it makes a star. And you can do these with any of the shapes. You can also do them with the shapes that you have cut out. And you just get fun and creative with it. And you press it onto the construction paper and lift up. Now, if you guys have a paintbrush handy, you can fix any mistakes you made if you want to and spread the paint out a little more evenly. Your parents or friends can also help you with this part as well. And that's basically all there is to it. And then you're just gonna keep adding on. So we're gonna dip into some yellow here. Sometimes you guys might have to press a little harder or lighter, depending on how thick you want your star to be. And you can also use the thicker edge of the cookie cutter. And then you can paint the whole star in like that. And then if you want to fix up your edges again, you just grab a paintbrush and fill in the middle. And you can make these pointier too with your paintbrush as well, depending on the shape of your cookie cutter. Yeah, we're gonna put some moon shapes in. And these are completely optional as well. You can make shapes out of hearts or anything that you like. Yeah, we'll do yellow this time. And you guys can just get fun and creative with it and press it on there. And you can do multiple ones. We'll do a big star. And that's basically all there is to it. You just want to make sure that you're getting paint on the stamps before you put them down. And then also, if you guys want to have a thicker star, you can use the flat edge of the cookie cutter shape. So when you press it, you get a lot of paint on there. Press it down. And then you can also fill it in with a paintbrush. And you can also have your parents or your friends help you with this part as well. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can also just use your finger, but this way might be a little bit more messy. And that's all there is to it. So here is our final product, guys. I had so much fun doing this and it turned out awesome. So I hope you guys have fun doing it as well and good luck. And I'll see you guys next week for more crafts and activities. Bye.